For the past six months or so, I've been involved in the creation of an app called Themer by My Color Screen. It's a true one-click theming app that's going to really change the way you use your phone if you're using an Android device. Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocket Now, and in this video, I'm going to show you Themer. Let's get to it. So Themer is based off of the website MyColorScreen.com, a site which really shows the versatility and the openness of Android. With Android, you can make your home screen whatever you want it to be with custom icons, custom widgets. Really, there are limitless possibilities. The problem with Android customization is that it takes a really long time to set up widgets, configure icons, and get everything just right, which is why Themer comes into the picture here. So right now, Themer is available in Google Play. It's free and all of the themes are free. Uh, it's in beta, so right now you need a code to access the app. And the way you do that is you go to themerapp.com, put in your email address, and then you'll get a code emailed to you when it's ready. So this is what most people look at dozens and dozens of times per day, the home screen. It's boring, it's ugly in most cases, unless you spend the time to really craft it and make it look nice. Uh, it's not very useful, it's just a bunch of icons in most cases for most people. It's not particularly beautiful either, which is why Themer has come along. So Themer's a launcher actually, so I'm gonna go to Always Here. And here's an example of a theme that I've applied with Themer. Uh, it's a five screen home screen. We start off with some app shortcuts here. We've got a dialer here, which is actually a real dialer. Up here, you get contacts and your call history as well, if you wanna look at that. To the left, we've got a calendar, which is based on simple calendar widget. To the right, we've got some news from TechCrunch and CNN, a live news widget here. And all the way to the right, there's weather with a forecast, a really bold theme here. So let's take a look at actually how Themer works. I'm gonna tap and hold on the home screen and hit browse themes. Then I'm gonna go into the Themer gallery. Every theme you see here is applicable in one click and it sets up all of the widgets, all of the wallpapers and all of the icons exactly as you see it here. So let's scroll down and take a look at some of these. So there are themes for all kinds of tastes. There are minimal themes, retro themes, themes that have a particular specialty, like there's a Breaking Bad theme here, some colorful themes, and you can tap on any of the themes and get a preview of what it's going to look like before you hit apply, or you can just scroll down and kind of look through all of them. Right now, there are about 50 themes with more being added each day. This one I'm gonna show here, it's called Gray and Peach. So I'm gonna hit apply. It's gonna prepare the theme, download it if you haven't already, which takes about five seconds, and In no time at all, you've got the theme applied to your home screen so that every time you hit the home button, you are taken back to that particular home screen. This becomes your new home screen, which is a lot more beautiful and useful uh, than what you might have had before. So in this case, we have an RSS feed, a link to the phone, SMS, Play Store. To the right, we've got weather with some other shortcuts like camera and maps and battery percentage at the top, and all the way to the right here, we've got some favorite applications. Let's go back into the Browse theme section and look at some other themes. Uh, this one in particular is called Sky. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna hit Apply. And here we are with one called Sky, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now there's a problem inherent to one, a one-click theming app. What if you use Spotify, but your friend uses Pandora? And maybe there might be a music icon like there is here in this particular theme. How will Themer know or that app know which music app you like. So there's this thing called Themer Actions and Themer, and it works for weather and music and maps and cloud storage and file manager and all sorts of app categories. So in the case of music, if I tap on music, Themer will look at my device and look at a wide variety of music apps. It knows that I have Spotify, Pandora, and Google Music installed on my device. Spotify is my favorite. I'm going to hit Spotify so that the next time I click on music, it goes directly to Spotify. It doesn't ask me. Now, let's say down the road I get Pandora. I fall in love with Pandora, and I want my music action to link to Pandora. You can actually reset your Themer action. So I'm going to go to Browse Themes again. And over here in Settings, Themer, at Preferences, I can click Reset on Music such that when I go back to the home screen, go back to Music, it'll ask me again. This time I hit Pandora, and every time I hit Music, no matter what theme I use in Themer, it will always go to Pandora just like I want it to. Let's take a look at another theme. We're going to go back into Browse Themes. So this one's called Malatov, and it's one of the more customizable themes available in Themer, so it's going to apply.
So Malatov is a more minimal theme for people that don't want a lot of clutter. The cool thing about this particular theme is I can take these shortcuts and drag them around and flick them off the screen if I don't want them and really customize it to, to look like what I want it to look like, something that really works for me. So I am super proud to be a part of Themer. It's a kind of app that I've dreamed of having on my phone. Over the years, I get all of these Android phones that I test and the interfaces, the home screens are just so boring and they're always the same. And then there's this huge world of Android customization, but it just takes too much time to apply a theme. So with Themer, finally one click theming is available to everyone. It's something that wasn't really possible a few years ago, uh, but now it's, uh, it's a reality. So uh, I hope you uh, download it and you love it as much as I do. And thanks for watching this video. That's it for now.